Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist, and this is your home of burning and learning. And we're joined with Hubby. Okay. And today we're doing tiny, small water droplets. We're going to get started on the small water droplets. And what we're going to need is small tips. Now, you can still use your 18S, low heat, very careful, because we need to block them in and burn around. And tomorrow we'll, we'll work on the strings. Right now we're just going to work on the little dots because it's only 30 minutes. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start with my 9M on two. And the 9M is this tip. Breeze. And it's heating. So I'm blo blocking the breeze. Hopefully, can you guys hear the fan? Because we got a new fan. It feels better, but if you can hear it, we're going to have to turn it off. Anyway, so I don't know if we're going to need the nine Let's see here this is the nine <laughs> I haven't used these in so long I can't remember the, the letters for them. these they get smaller <laughs> this is the smallest nine that's probably the safest way to put it now I was able to print out a lighter photo so I could see where everything is at we do have some drops here on this part of the mouth, but we could actually leave them. It's, um, it's more of this one we're going to be looking at, so I may need a knife. I do need an eraser to get rid of my white charcoal. Oops. Like everybody is good oh, for good. sound. Oh, good. I can't hear the fan. Oh, good. The barrel says it looks like he's got a match tape. I thought it, it looked like a for thermometer. <laughs> he's taking his temperature. Yep. So we're going to get in close. There we go. Spence has nothing. Okay, uh, good. Thank you. Not on oh. our side, dear Spence. Nothing as in no fan sound or you're not getting the, the live? Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what he says. All right. We're going to have to look closely at our droplet. Let me grab my knife. So if we look right here, when there is a drop of water, the highlight is not in the place you expect it. Normally you would think, or I'm sorry, the shadow. You would normally think the shadow would be at the bottom of something or the edge of something. That is not how it's happening with water. Because water is prismatic, it bounces. So our high highlight goes at the bottom. We have our darker, which is pick in the middle, which is picking up the fur. And then we have some highlight on the top edge. What this tells me looking at the photo is Granted, I already know, but if I'm looking at a photo and I'm not sure where the direction of the light is going, I would look to see where all these highlights are at. What side are they on? Are they on the left or the right? Are they front? Um, more towards the back. And grab another photo. That way we can see better. This is the darker one. So we can see these highlights here. And right here, that tells me the light is coming from this direction versus it all being dark on this side. So that's the furthest from the light, plus it's rounded. So our droplets with a little bit of light stop on this back side. This is the one we're going to focus on. And I think I'm going to have to... Um, Actually, other than trying to keep it as round as possible, which I can actually do with my 9M, I'm on a really low heat. I'm just above 2, and this is on basswood, so it requires less heat. I need to round this drop out a little bit more because this is actually almost a perfect circle. See, on this side, I did go little dark at the edge but what I can do is I can put in our highlight or I'm sorry our shadows first so let's get the shadows in I can go darker so for blocking in we need the lighter actually we're gonna go darker we're just gonna do it just do it what's the worst that happens I have to scrape that, that is the worst. Well, it's not the worst. Mm -mm. You see, it goes all the way across. So we're just going to 
And this is why I said get your little tips out, but you can do this. In fact, what I've got already prior to this, I did with the 18S. If you don't have that, just take your time and use your smallest pointy tip. I'm just trying to reshape a little bit. All right. Looking at the photo, I do need to have this line on this side. So we're going to scratch it in a little bit. Now, not all of it is white, so I would not hit anything but the high highlight with white. And I did go a little thick there. Let me scrape it down a little bit. Following our shadows is what gives us and taking time. You gotta take time on this one. Alrighty. Luckily, because I'd already had it in because I was trying to put the uh, fur around. I'm just, again, still just trying to reshape Get more of that circle. And then as we go up into our drip I don't know what else it would be called I do have some I, I just burned real close to the edge but I need to scrape some out and that would be our high highlight anyway because some of this dark bear fur is going to reflect into the water in, into our droplets into our Shake this just a little bit. I'm sorry I didn't finish getting the fur in on the rest of it. I was finishing up the owl, which is over by Jason. And I started working on this. I do want to take the time to say, because I was horrible not responding to everybody. Thank you for all the wonderful birthday wishes. I sincerely appreciate them. Alright. Now, you're not going to see a whole lot of change that I just did. You'll see a little bit, and I'm not trying to highly gouge the wood. So I'm going to just put in the darks around it. We're using our darks to shape the lights. Which is normally how it goes. Let's see. So I'm on three. I'm just gonna see. I need to shade in part of this. Get to work. You just go in lightly. It's not all white. And the darkest is gonna be in the middle. I could reshape this again. And the cheek here is going to go darker. It's shaped a little bit better. And then, just so we can see, put some white charcoal in. I would definitely go sharper than I am with mine right now. It would just be easier. And we got a drop. We got a drop. We got a drop. And again, it still looks like it needs more shaping. And I do have my sepia that's darker down here. And let's these on this side. Uh, cut them out of the photo. They're drops, but they look more like fur. So let's shape them, just shaping our biggest thing is following the direction. In fact, 
can't tell if those are whiskers or part of the fur or water droplets. Let me lighten this a little bit. The chat is all kinds of chatty. Are they? Yeah, I mean they're talking about stuff. Oh, okay. Let's see if we have this still is a little darker. Girl kind of like the fan. She said it sounds like waves at the beach. Oh. Well, we figured out why the fan, the one live, it was vibrating the counter, which the mic was picking up on. Some of it will be dark. We do have a highlight there, but I'll come back to it. Still trying to shape it a little bit better. Alrighty. Some people mm -hmm. have rain in nasty weather. Jenny has cold, wet weather. Cause it's opposite there, right? I know. Yeah. So big mini. Nice cold weather yeah, there. Super. Yeah, weather. It's cold where Carmen is too. Or rainy. She's up in Canada. Alrighty. Girl, actually, it's a sunny day. Ah. It rained for my birthday, so I was happy about that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have some drops here. That was here. your birthday present. That was my birthday present. So those drops are coming off of here. Now, when I blocked in some of my darks, I just left the strip um, so that I didn't have to go back and scratch as much. And again, it's just following... how the shadows are. That is the biggest thing, is following your shadows. If you can really pay attention to your shadows, the rest will definitely fall into place. Now these darks matter here. They matter because it's what helps the glow. We want the glow. Get that in there. Some of this is fur. Some of it I left so that we could do it on camera. And then we've got little ones. The little ones just need to be... shape that wrong but you know what it's water people aren't gonna know that it's wrong you know it's wrong because I told you I did it wrong <coughs> but nobody else is gonna know let's get some darks in these I can just I might have to scrape that one a little bit bring this in See, and this is why I said if you have a little pen tip to use it, it just makes it easier. Completely doable with other tips. You don't have to have this one. You just have to take more time and go with lower heat in order to not have over... Um, let's see here. When your tip is too hot, it will burn other areas. Um, yellow it so some people like that I don't care for it for my pieces but you do have to worry about that when your tip is hot so we can just leave dots and it will read like the water now we'll still darken up this area. I'm just trying to block it in for you guys. Ah, camera. Right where I sit. I want you to see. Pay attention to those references. Your reference is your friend. And if it needs to be lightened, lighten it. You can always darken the burn later. In fact, that's... What I tend to recommend, so lighten this photo. 
I gave you the final moody photo. If you can't see, lighten. I had to. Nothing wrong with that. Alrighty. So some areas are lighter, or and some areas are darker. There's actually quite a few people here. Things are getting too long. You want me to cut them? I've no, heard, heard I know what happens when you cut I, hair. I heard that I'm good at haircuts. You got you got a baseball cap, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing a baseball cap on camera. Now I did get the fur you a little might have wrong. My haircut. Yeah, I know. A little <laughs> wrong here. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm gonna do? I, I went in the wrong direction. I kept going in this direction, and this fur actually goes down. So I'm going to scrape in, <coughs> and this area still all needs to go darker. I was just trying to get in as much as I could for the live. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Spence has a question. It's a yes, little please. off topic. Okay. At what point, if any, there's a pyrography piece that has color added to it, stop being pyrography, and then become mixed media artwork. I know the answer to that. Uh, let's hear your answer. I'll give you the school answer. If anything is added, it is mixed media. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I know I'm correct. That is definitely a personal choice. Now you can label your piece whatever you want to label it. You could label it, you know, finger painting with poo. I don't know why poo stuck in my I, head. Where Other the, than where the, the heck did that come from? <laughs> I'm looking at the board, and it's a bear. Anyway, you can label it whatever you want. Brown bear. It's a brown bear. Bear. Oh my <laughs> God! I just got that. It's dark. It is. We all have opinions on that. And I would say, if you're the one creating the work, the only opinion that matters is yours. If you're creating it for somebody else as a commission, theirs matters just as much as yours. And there's things that I like and there's things that I do not like. I look at it and it's a biography piece and it has a lot of stuff on it and I'm like yee but that's me it doesn't make it wrong that's just my my choice so there's a little caveat to that so the mixed media title is a tool for you as an artist because if you're exhibiting someplace yes then uh, let's say for instance that um, they're accepting mixed media and a lot of people don't know what pyrography is. I mean, more and more people do, but some galleries would be like, I don't, I don't know what this is. But the moment you say mixed media, the brain will shut off and they'll accept it as it is. It's like, oh, it's mixed media, you know? So um, also sometimes artists have a lot of different things involved and so they use that mixed media so they don't have to write a paragraph about everything you put in there. Like, I don't tend to use mixed like media. there's blue and toenails in this. <laughs> and also, you know, there's some paint there too. I don't tend to mark as mark mixed media. But as a as a pyrographer, if you want to highlight or emphasize that it is pyrography, you could say pyrography and colored pencil on board. That that's what I do. Or whatever it is that you're using, in that way it distinguishes that from just mixed media. So mixed media is a tool that you might use judiciously if it benefits you, but probably as pyrographers and <coughs> trying to get pyrography more mainstream and more popularized you know like it's more popular people it's, think. it's more than it used to be for sure but if, if you want to be known as that then you know pyrography and um whatever on board or paper I would probably be better so. right here i'm only darkening because i was going to show putting in some of the uh light that dots it from the water that's actually 
probably going to be easier if I scrape it. So I need to have more darks here in order to make that work and then I can burn around them once they're there. I mark my pieces if they have color, regardless of the type of color, if they have color, I mark my pieces as pyography with watercolor, color pencil, whatever added on the surface that I've burned on, whether it's watercolor paper, illustration board, um, wood, canvas, whatever, whatever it is. I'm going to put a couple of these in and then I'm going to burn darker so we can see. Some people don't want a bunch of stuff added. So that's totally, in doing it, it's totally your call. Um, oh, I got a breeze. I'm going to bend over here and get the breeze real quick because I am so hot. The, no, <laughs> the breeze can't be on me because it'll cool off my tips. So I need to take it when I can. You know, there's a flip side to that. The pyrography purists who are like, you can't use anything except for pyrography. But I understand that too. I, I do, but it's a little elitist. Is it though? Because I'm trying to be careful with my wording. I prefer the least amount of color on my burnings. Yeah, but you've used color too. I have. So that you're not, you're not nearly an elitist, I don't think. There's some people who, and I'm not, I gotta be careful with this because I don't want anybody to think I'm attacking them. If they are happy with what they're creating, again, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. But there's, some pieces that I've seen where the burning is just the outline and then it's colored in. You know, I, I've seen that too. And, and I... To me... It to me, that's more color with pyography added. To me, it defeats the point of it. because It does, but everybody to each their own. Yeah, and I understand that. That's why I'm trying to be process, careful because I don't want anybody yeah, to stop your, doing it. That's your process and you go for it. I've bumped up to just under four, and I'm just trying to very lightly go around those areas that I etched out. Some of them will have a brighter white put on them. And these are the droplets, so I want it to look shiny. We're not going to be burning in the middle like we did here. I'm trying to be careful. See, we have droplets coming off here. I kind of need to darken that up as well. This is so detailed. It, it is as detailed as you want it, it to be. So this good. is my brain. <laughs> Remember, you're always getting a shot of my brain. Sorry, I just noticed it's not as smooth as I'd like it. Is this like that 80s commercial? This is your brain. This is my brain this on is wood. This is brain on pyrography. Yeah. yeah. Any questions? Probably a ton. If you're showing and selling your work, I would always list all your mediums on the, that is on the board. That way, if somebody wants to buy it, they know exactly what they're getting. If you Sometimes, if you just put mixed media, they're like, well, what kind of mixed media? Is there acrylic or watercolor, color pencil? That can mean a lot of different things. Alright. So, it's going to look literally spotty and I'm kind of off because what it is is we've got some fur sticking out closer to the light that has water on it because it's draining down so I'll put that down for a second I need to 
scrape where the fur is actually clumped. Like this. It's going to be kind of more lined up, but it's lined up because it's following the fur strand. Maybe be hard to pick up on camera. No, I can see it. Again, there still needs to be more darks in order for this to really work. So it's a matter of going back and forth. Back and forth. Take your time. There is no rush. There is no metal or prize for going super fast. In fact, in slowing down, you will get so much more out of it. Um. Laura Canal is here, but it's hey, not Nanny. Laura. Oh, it's Jeremy. It's Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. What's up, Jeremy? <laughs> Jeremy message retracted. Oh, is wow. our younger nephew. I'll retract your message. He decided to give wood burning a try last night, and I got a wonderful photo of my name wood burned on paper. That was so exciting to get. And... Apparently he started watching the videos. I don't know if he's going to be able to talk Josh out of the wire tip burner. <laughs> don't know. But his birthday was on Friday. You got a bunch of July people in here. We, we do. Yeah. We know what was going on in October. I think he's fighting <laughs> with um, an autocorrect. Oh, is what's he? Going on. There he goes, because <laughs> it said something about Bell Ray and then something else. And I don't know. He's learning. He's eleven. Yep. He's eleven. He's a very yeah, smart good, eleven. Good to see you, Jeremy. Yeah, getting so big. Yep, he likes fighting the hard practice. Well, I'm so glad you could join us. Is everybody here, or is it just you? Because I could beam it onto their TV. Oh, I don't know. Have to see. Stephen Bunch says that he's really drawn to monochromatic work. That's why he's studying biography. Sometimes it's nice to have color. And my art, though the channel is going to be, um, I will continue doing the instructions. Even though we are having very slow growth, I will continue to do the instructions. But my art, my personal art, is changing. I, he does not want to buy a Oh. Machine. Oh, okay. He just wanted to surprise me and hang out, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's totally okay. Totally okay. Trust me, it's different to burn with the wire tip like this. It's more like a pin than it is the craft burner you tried. Oh, um, Greg has to go. Hey, Greg. Nice to be seen, so. Oh, and happy birthday to Greg. Happy His was on the 8th. He was on the 8th of Sarka. Yeah, long and prosper, Greg. Mm hmm Alrighty, so it's going and to so, be... never give up, never surrender. <laughs> we just watched that recently. It's going to be a matter of going back and forth, back and forth. Darkening this. <coughs> so that, excuse me, so that that looks closer to what you're going for. So like right here I'm trying to darken this and in darkening this area it's going to pop out our lighter area. But luckily in general for the water droplets I've switched over to the small ball tip. I'm still on four and I'm just trying to fill in a little bit better than the nine was going. A little smoother. So it's just a matter of going back and forth. I know it may feel overwhelming. But this is definitely one that was meant to take your time and learn a bunch on. Bunchy, bunchy, bunch. Well, it's looking really good. Uh, the movement of the fur is really awesome. That, I really want the movement of the fur, so I'm trying to, act, to actually put more curve into it. I, oh, what I was saying. Um, in my art changing. I have been doing animals and whatnot for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And though I will still do... Earl is diming you out in front of Jeremy. And then Spence has a question. Yes, let's do Spence real quick. 
so Spence says, are you doing every little water droplet on the neck, or do you do what you can? So I, I want to add to that. Are you doing every little droplet, or are you doing the impression? Impression. Of, okay. Impression. I, I'm, I want the light, and again, this still needs to go so much darker looking at the reference. Oh, that breeze feels good. So much darker, and that means less work. Um, the bigger droplets in the fur, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to put them all in. Barrel says every little drop spends all 10,000. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Well, sometimes, you, you know, because photography will pick up things that your mm -hmm. eye can never pick up, in, in, especially in motion. So it's better to have the indication of something sometimes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more realism right. than trying to actually do it. Yeah. Because sometimes you just can't get there. So you have to do the indication. So Jeremy said he might try the wire tip? Yep. Ask your brother first. <laughs> Ask your brother first. But I will do a lot of scraping and burning around to darken it up. Did you see Burl's message? Every drop spins. No, oh, no, two, no. no. One above it. Yeah, I'm not going to address that because... <laughs> mm -mm. It's already out there. I'm not going to give him... They've already got one crappy burner there. I'm not giving them another. No, 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 no. <laughs> Spence is going to count Burl's water droplets. Burl's gotten started looking awesome. Challenge accepted. <laughs> so my art's going to be changing. I've been, I'm feeling stagnant. If you love doing animal portraits, absolutely keep doing them. Um, but I... I need a change. I will continue to do on the channel what, what I've already been doing. So we'll still continue the community projects that you guys want to focus on and World Pyography Month next month. But I need <laughs> I need to do some different personal work um, that feels different for me. We all get in ruts as artists. Well, Fourteen and a half years of doing animals. And I think it's, I think the fact that you're, I mean, I, we've, we've had this discussion. Shit. Too many, many times. Many, many times, but I think that it's important because all our, this happens to all artists at some point. Yeah, you're, you're going to get tired. You're going to reach a point where you, you feel stagnant or where your ability is, uh, your imagination, it, where your ability matches your imagination, or yeah. and, and you feel like that you you want to do more, maybe you want to do more meaningful work, or you want to branch out and try different things. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's an action, a natural evolution of an artist, and it happens multiple times as an artist if you stay at it. Mm -hmm. So, and if I go back to doing nudes, I don't know if I can show those, depending on how they are. It's like it's like Madonna. Every so often, you have to reanimate yourself. Yes. Yes. I've already put my put water droplets on the snout. I'm really liking how it looks good. That's good. Awesome. A little bit of circle swimming around the water droplets. <laughs> I just hit, okay, so tomorrow, because I think we're already at, yeah. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Arizona time, 2 p.m. Eastern. I, which one do you guys want? Do you want, you know what, I think we'll have to focus at least on this one because it's smaller so that we can get it all in like we got that in so that you can see completely. So that would be this one right here. So we'll get that in um, tomorrow. Yep. And all of this needs to go darker. All of it needs to go darker. This is just me blocking in and getting things in place so I can erase. The ear needs to go darker. But we'll work on this, and I think for next, yeah, tomorrow we'll work on on the actual drizzle. It's not drizzle. What would it be? Of the, of the water actually pouring off of him. A bunch be. of different names. I know. And then... Rivulet of water? Rivulet, yeah. That'll work. We'll use rivulet. Ha! 25 cent lure. For I know. And then next week, I think we will start on this water right here, which will include the reflection. Um, Burl, because you wanted the refre uh, reflection, I think, 
for some of yours and Greg's lives. Um, we will work on this piece, so I'm not having to start a whole other piece, especially before World Pyrography Month, and you wanted to focus on the water and the light, so we will do that. Yeesh, World Pyrography Month. I know, I'm still... That's, that's hell month around here. <laughs> well, I may go with a dark piece on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to do different stuff. And it's okay for me to do different stuff on World Pyrography Month. Jeremy, uh, it's 11 o'clock tomorrow. What time is that? For him, it would be 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. So after lunch. Yep. After lunch tomorrow. Girl wants to do some loons next. Yes, she wants loons, so we'll we'll do uh we'll do some just hang out and do some water. Um and Greg hasn't told me what he wants to focus on. I know he's doing tiger and snow right now. So we'll do that. We should be able to get through all the elements of this piece by the end of July because we got the rocks, the blurry rocks, the water. We've only got a couple weeks left of July. Goes by fast. And I haven't decided if we have a community project for August because we have World Pyrography Month. I don't know how much of World Pyrography Month I want to do on camera, as in live. So I've got to figure that out. If I if we do a community piece, because there'll be some people who don't want to do World Pyrography Month. Um my community project piece will be small in order to Breathe. I know you haven't forgotten about the blue cast. Was no. Carmen was just... No, no. That that would be the very last thing I do before it seals. Yeah. Yep. Very last thing I do. We don't have any further questions. Yes. Please don't forget to hit the like, and if you don't have the bell, like solid. Make sure to click on the bell to get notified of the lives. I don't know how well YouTube is telling people about that. And is there something that we got to say? There is. They on, need to say three? it. With, they no. They need to say it with us. I, I know what you're gonna say. I'm gonna say it too. All right. You know that. Don't you start are no awesome. problem. No be no problem. <laughs> you can do this. No. You're a fire oh, artist. I'm forgetting. Happy Bernie. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Love you, Jeremy. <laughs>